Hey, Ronnie Daniels here. It was raining earlier when I made a video and I ran my mouth, which I seem to be good at doing. Uh, today is May the 2nd, 2021. And uh, I told you we're gonna go inside these two little nukes here. So let's go see what's going on inside this nuke. Uh, the rain cleared out and uh, it was sunny just a minute ago, but uh, small colonies tend to be a little more docile. So hopefully these guys will be kind of on the docile side. And I brought my smoker, so we'll smoke them a little bit. And I'll try to show you what's going on in here. This is the nuke that I made that I think I took the queen from another colony and she got put in here, which is just fine. I mean, that I, I don't remember finding her, but she accidentally got moved and I like making uh, nukes that way because it leaves a good population in the old colony to create a new queen. see what's going on in here. I hope you can hear me okay. <clears throat> All right, so not a lot in this second box here. I put this second box in here in case there was a queen. And give them some, some uh, comb to draw out. I see some bees on one of the frames. And we'll take a look at it and see what's going on. I've learned that if you move really slowly, it really helps from them getting uh, where they'll take a swipe at you to try to sting you. So uh, if you can move slow, it helps a lot. All right, so what they've done here is they're just putting up nectar, as you can see it right there. Oh, hopefully you can. So no eggs or anything up here. Just a little bit of bees and we'll see what's going on downstairs and it looks like there's a lot of bees down there so hopefully so <clears throat> i hear them fussing for some reason or another my stepson jamie made these uh nuke boxes for me he did a really good job i, I am horrible made these for me. I gave him one to use as an example. Yeah, we got a lot of bees down here. Anyway, he did a fantastic job. We're going to give them a little bit of smoke just across the top. You know, they come up peeking. And when they come up peeking at me, that's when I send them a message to get back down low. And I see them starting to eat honey, which is what they do when you smoke them. Right. Oh yeah, we've got this uh, frame here is loaded with larvae. You're probably not going to be able to see it. But there's a lot on here. We may actually get to spot the queen somewhere. And you'll see. There's cat brood all on this frame here. See it? And maybe be able to see some larvae, I'm not sure. So we know we got a... Oh, there's the queen right there. She is the queen that I had marked. I don't know if you can see her. She's right there. I would marked her last year, so I did... She's going right there. So she is the queen that I had marked last year and accidentally for, moved to... Uh, to this colony. Let me see where she's at. I like to be real careful when I put the frame back in. Make sure she doesn't get in the wrong spot. Okay, I see her. So we're going to ease it back down in there. So all is well there. I, and you know, I, I told you in the previous video that I make notes. Well, you know, I didn't even... I had gotten slack on making notes on um, where I got, where I pulled the bees to make this nuke from, which now I don't even know which one she came from, but I feel pretty good that they'll make a new queen. So um, that just shows you how it's very important to take good notes. So I'm gonna look at another frame. Moving real slow. Doesn't mean I won't get stung, but it sure helps a lot. 
they seem to be pretty docile right now, long as they don't make them mad. Alright. Lots of cat brood. Look at all that. A lot of cat brood. Same on the other side. So they're doing good. You know, I imagine um, they'll get to working on this uh, second box here before long. And I will probably have to move them to a 10 frame before too long. Alright, so let me try to get this in here without squishing any bees. Y'all need to move. Move. Alright. So I'm going to put this one back together. I hear a bunch of bees somewhere. Almost sounds like I might have a swarm going on right now. Either that or the weather got real good and they decided to get out, but uh, a lot of people are unfamiliar with what a swarm looks like and uh, I wish I knew how to edit videos a little better. I could show you what a swarm looks like because it's, it's, it's unreal. When they come out of the hive, it, 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 it they just come pouring out. And uh, you'll see a bunch of bees in the air following the queen. All right, so let me get you moved. All right, we know that nuke's doing good. Move you over here and see what's going on over here. Now this, this nuke I made here, I tried to give them extra bees to make a queen, but when I looked in there a few days later, their uh the queen cells they had looked awfully puny so you know i try to give them enough extra bees to be able to uh make the royal jelly and all they have to do for a queen but it it it, it looked didn't look very good there's some small queen cells there were three of them uh based on my math i don't i forgot to look at the date of when i created this nuke but based on my math really there should be a queen in here by now, but probably not mated. That would be what I would think. Um, and honestly, really should they be going in here right now? Because I've got, chances are, uh, if all went well, I have a virgin queen in here. You really don't need to be messing around Boy, when there's a virgin queen in here too much, unless I have to. Um, I, I, virgin queens can fly really good. <clears throat> I've, I've seen a couple land on a hive before, and uh, they, I was surprised how good they could fly. If they don't have a queen, I'm going to have to figure something out. Try to get this, you know, make a decision about what to do. If they don't have a queen, excuse me, about what to do. To uh, either try to keep this colony going or not, because you know bees die every day, and this time of year they don't live long. So the population, I can look at it and tell in here now, population is really small. <clears throat> I guess y'all can see. All right, nothing on here. Nothing on the next frame. Yeah, the population is really low. So what I could do is give these guys, they start to get a little agitated. I could give these guys a uh, frame of brood to, to help boost them up a little bit if I want to save them. Nothing here. I'm going to be keeping my eye open for a virgin queen. Yeah, this, the population here is really low. So if there is a queen in here, I mean, they can make it. It's just, uh, they'll have to get going. And luckily, one of the things you gotta think about when you make splits and all that is what are the nighttime temperatures? 
hope you guys can see this because if they're if the nighttime temperatures are really cold you know it's, it's hard for them to increase their population because they don't have enough bees to keep the brood warm quite a few bees here but uh, still not a whole lot I don't see a queen go look at the next one there are a lot of bees in the air I don't know if it's because the Sun peaked out or what but if I have a swarm going on might be good for y'all to see all right a lot of nectar here don't see a queen All right, so regardless, this little colony here needs a boost. So what I'll probably do is steal a frame of capped brood from another colony and put it in here. And probably put some with eggs in it too. Uh, in case they don't have a queen, they'll start trying to make one or they actually will make one. All right. I don't even see the uh, the queen cells they made. I'm gonna look again at this frame that I just pulled out and see where that queen cell was. Still don't see it. Yeah, I think I have a little swarm going on right now. I see a lot of bees in the air. Or it could be one going out for a mating flight. Alright, so this colony is not doing very well unless there is a queen in there that is getting ready to get mated. So I'm going to put it back together. And leave them alone. Maybe give them a frame of cat brood here in a day or two. Let me see if I can get you off the uh, get you off this pedestal, uh, the tripod that I have you on, so you can see what what I see here. All right, a lot of bees flying around in the air. It's not a whole lot. It's, it, it, if this is a swarm, it's it's a small one. One thing to tell you about swarms, you know, a lot of people feel like it's the end of the world when you have a swarm. But in terms of uh, mite control, it's a really good technique because you end up going broodless for a while. And as you know, the uh, varroa mites increase their population when the bees are, are increasing their population. So... Swarm is actually uh, a, is good mite control. The one thing you have to do though is make sure um, that after you give it enough time to make sure that you, you have a, uh, a new queen in there that's uh, mated. Because last year was a time I, I had actually had trouble uh, getting mated queens back. I don't know what happened, but um, the, the percentage of queens coming back mated was really low and I had not had that in years previous so I'm gonna end this video here I hope you know I, I did a little less of running my mouth and we went inside and uh, looked at some bees and I hope you hope you learn something from this and if you if you see uh, anything that you or if you sorry if you have something you want me to cover or talk about, just let me know. I know there's a lot of good uh, beekeepers on YouTube, and they do a really good job of covering stuff. Uh, but if, you've, if you're a subscriber and you something you want me to talk about or show you, I'll be glad to show you. Uh, I, I admire a lot of beekeepers who take the time to get a camera out and get set up because it, it's it's little aggravating and especially those who can edit videos and all that I, I have not learned to do that yet and I probably won't be doing that anytime soon 
but I want to thank you for watching. Um, interestingly, uh, the colony we were just in is the one that has all the bees that are in there. So I'm wondering uh, what has happened here. Let me spin you around and let you take a look. She may have went out on a mating flight. <laughs> 